little update on the garden. I got some new raspberry bushes. Those aren't producing yet. So we've got a couple more. We pulled out the peas that were in this row because they were just dead. I have watermelon radish, lettuce, carrots, calendula that I grew from seed, onion, because I just wanted to take up some of the space. I have some cucumbers here. These flowered, this is a lemon basil, chamomile, and this is more corn. And then my sunflowers have gotten huge. There's three right there I grew from seed, and then I just bought this one, it was half off. So I'm gonna plant that probably just right in front. This is my lemon cucumber that I planted, and it looked like it was dying actually. Look how good it is. My zucchini's coming in. I just picked one actually in here I'm gonna use today. My onion, these two pots right here I have spinach, I just trimmed them. And then my tomato plants are going crazy. Oh, each one is a different variety. And then that's my tomatillos right there. I grew from seed. There are three plants of tomatillos. I guess with tomatillos, they need to pollinate each other. So get more than one plant. This is a pepper and it looks like there's an old, like right next to the pepper. The small one is a tomato plant probably from last year coming up. Um, but I don't know, this pepper plant hasn't grown or done much. So I'm not sure if it's gonna, do anything. These are the garden beds that I started with the Trex leftover deck boards and those are the two smaller ones that I just had some scrap wood and I try to make it myself but my husband did have to do a lot of work to help me. My blueberries we've already harvested once. It's not a huge bush but it's they're coming in really good. And then I bought strawberries yesterday. This is like the second time I think I bought strawberries and I thought that basket was really cute. Let's see, these strawberries are hula berries. They're the pineapple hybrid ones. And I did get some that grew out. Now they're drying back out, so we will see. Um, I also bought this yesterday. This smells so amazing. It literally smells like pure pineapple. This is called Pineapple Sage. It is amazing. And I'm absolutely obsessed with lavender, so I got more. And I'm also obsessed with catnip, so I got more of that too. So I'm gonna put these up on my deck with all the rest of my herbs. I only have a little bit of mint down here. Other than that, all my herbs are upstairs, except for what's in these pots. So this is Garden Sage. Um, French marigolds look like they're dying off, so I'm gonna trim them up actually. And then I have my petunias, my basil's doing good. I literally thought this plant was dying because it just wasn't doing anything, but look. My sweet banana peppers coming in. More of these, these do really good back here. This little small garden space that I built I didn't really have to build anything. I just put a little dollar tree fencing. It's a cheap fencing. Use like some mulch. I wanted to use black mulch. They only had the brown. And then in my greenhouse, actually just, this is leftover stuff that just didn't make it that I have to clean out. But my peppers do really good in here. I just cut a bunch off. These are the ones still kind of growing that are small. Um, and these are Santa Fe, Grande hot peppers, a whole bunch are coming through. I'm growing these by seed. I think some of the heat got to it. I don't know if um, it was being watered very well. And then my marigolds are doing okay. I wanna plant some more flowers in between like from seed, but anywho, this is really cool. That is my garden update. Oh, we also got more raspberries. So I got raspberries. Oh, and they're actually coming in. And then on the other trucks, I'm just calling it trucks. That's just the name of this. These boards is the brand is trucks. This is all watermelon and 
green melon. So I got the honeydew and the sugar daddy on all of these ones. And I'm so impressed with my watermelon radish. I did this from seed, lettuce from seed, carrots from seed. I had these in my greenhouse. I planted the onions directly. These grow really easy. And these were basically right here, all starters. All right, now I gotta go cook with all the stuff that I picked out of my garden. And the mint I'm just drying up in my dehydrator. And then I'm just putting it in jars to use um, for salves and you know, whatever else I want to do. I might use like some lip balm or other beauty products. All right, that is my garden. Yes, I'm gonna clean everything out of that and start my fall seeds in there soon, hopefully.